Hello, Centaurians, and welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Centauri, or Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, however you want to call it, with me, Blue Ankylo. So it's been a few days after I spent all that time trying to fix the crash bug and get that one sort of correction video up there. I haven't really felt like playing it for a little bit, so I'm a little bit out of sorts on what's just been what's going on. And, uh, you know, we'll just have to deal with that. Uh, in the last episode, obviously, we crushed the rest of Deirdre, well nearly the rest of Deirdre. We still have a little Peacekeeper base and a little Deirdre base on our continent. But other than that, if you look at the mini-map, there's just a couple little green dots left here and there. I could certainly go for peace with her at some point, but I don't think she's going to be too much of a threat. Uh, in fact, I might I might enjoy taking out some of these sea bases before too much longer. But we are on the rush to end game. Now, for the beginning of this episode, I wanted to spend a minute going through our F screens, whatever you want to call them, the various... Uh, you know, informations. So as you can see, we're on our way to Quantum Power, which is another huge unit upgrade, uh, giving them 30 HP rather than 20, if I recall, and perhaps to be even cheaper to construct, which would be awesome. And we're researching three years per tech, which is, seems pretty fast to me. I don't know, um, I don't know about you guys, but that seems pretty fast. Um, I actually want to take note of which base is the best for research, because I have a uh, university base. I have a new secret project I've kind of forgot about. Oh, monitoring station. Wow. Uh, anyway, so I should probably build something there. Uh, you can see how our income is doing at the moment. Um, that's for that specific city, but overall we're making 400 a year thanks to some secret projects and just generally having lots of good buildings. It's not like anyone on the game trades with us, but uh, that's their loss. Um... All of my bases. Can I go best base? Research should be in here somewhere. Am I just missing it? Labs, right. Lab. So monitoring station is the one that I need you to check out. So I will be there shortly. Uh, we do have, as you can see, nearly every single secret project in the game. I guess playing on talent difficulty isn't too hard for, for a blue angulo. Uh Maybe I got a little bit lucky. I don't know. But uh, I guess I know enough about Civ type games that I'm doing all right. Uh, this is our satellite thing. According to this, no one else has any satellites, which is good. And uh, we have a, a pretty good number. I'll want some defense pods. I think I've got some queued up. And maybe a few more, because I've got some size 15, 16 cities. So maybe I should build a few more of those. Um, I don't know about orbital attack. Um, how many units we have. Altogether, you can see sort of if you want to pause the video and look at how many I've got of what. You know, go for it. I'm not too concerned. And then, yeah, the cheated score. So I, uh, you guys understand, right? The only cheat I've done really is destroying my own base. <laughs> so I don't, I don't feel too bad about that. I was trying to fix a bug. So anyway, let's continue. Uh, definitely got lots of enemy activity going on. Uh, I did spend a bit of time microwing a few of my cities in between episodes again, just so I could remember what was going Production on. Complete. And spent some energy. You know how it goes. Maximum okay. population reached. So a lot of these bases are basically at the point where there shouldn't be much left to do. Um, they grow a little bit higher. Uh, I don't know how much you could get to a max population, but you know I've got almost everything you can even build done, other than a few extra, um, you know, of these things. So let's queue up. Maybe one more or two of each. I don't know. I, I might change my mind later, but it builds them so quickly. And I don't really need units right now. I certainly Production could build complete. more supply crawlers and stuff like that, but uh, I'm kind of, you know, my, my empire is too large. I don't want to have to be spending so much time moving everything around. Oh, that changes the eco damage, hey? So eco damage must have some relation to how much minerals you're getting. So um, I'll just leave it like that. That's fine. Let's queue up. Was there anything here? Wow. I really have maxed out a lot of these, place, a lot of these bases. So I'll just build one of each here, and that will do. Oh, I need to find the monitoring station. I always forget about uh, that. It. It's so tempting to end turn. You know how it is. Okay, Super Science Dudes has grown to an incredible size, and it's one turn away from, you know, making people happy, which is one, two, too far. So uh, we'll make an empath for now, and then next turn we should be good. Production complete. Okay, so what I want to do is before I move my units, monitoring station is one of our main ones, isn't it? Yeah. One of our big, large bases. Currently building a mining station. That's fine. And then we'll queue up the theory of everything. Plus 100% labs. So why not? 
plus it's another secret project more awesome videos for you guys watching along I think that's worth it okay so unit time um, unfortunately this battery is having a very difficult time killing that unit the the enemy unit um, maybe I'd be smarter off attacking it with this thing yeah that's probably a smarter way to do it okay. and then you can sort of head up here for now uh, rebase at home, rebase at home. Okay. Uh, we're building more Sentinels. I think most of these bases I just took over from Deirdre built like one. Or if I built one here, it's because I had drone riots or something. And I'm just trying to keep them happy. Um, is there anything guarding? What is an E for, guys? What is an E? I suppose I could probably find out in the data links. Anytime I have a weird question, I should be like, hmm, weapon types, you know, and then... Is there anything? I guess it actually doesn't say E here. I'd have to go to design a unit and see what upgrade that is. Oh well. Um, let's just send it a little bit of a, a bombard. Whatever it is, it doesn't like being bombarded. And attack. Pretty good odds. So, what does it say? 10 E Empath? Peacekeeper Empath? Maybe it's like it's got more Psy attack or something. There are all those various morale upgrades and Psy upgrades. Unfortunately, it's no match for our amazing Shard Rover. Yeah, no surprise. And because we can move again, we can uh, destroy the base. Yeah, because it's a size one base. This is a, a typical civilization type thing, if you're wondering. Um, a size one base usually just gets destroyed. So, I'm going to continue automating my formers because I don't. F I'm not bothered. I should be building roads up, connecting my new bases and forests and stuff, but whatever. I'm hoping the AI will figure it out eventually. Okay, you can guard. You... I don't know what you were doing. Oh, right, I think I moved a couple defenders over here just to uh, guard the shore in case something came up. Rebase. Oh, I got lots of units there. Oh, and I built some AAA silk steel sentinels. So that's obviously what the AAA is for. Oh man, there's so many little symbols and stuff. It's difficult to keep track of. Yeah, I built a couple of those. Turn That's good. Complete. Okay, and maybe I should attack with my ships because I see some uh, some stuff going on here. We've got uh, a fusion artillery. We've got colony pod. Oh yeah, gotta burn that colony pod down. All right. So what have I got to work with? Do I only have two ships left? Oh, blue ankylo. I'm falling behind. I need to uh, find a coastal and uh, do some sinking. Nope, I don't really want to talk to you, Miriam, right now. I'm busy. Blah, blah, blah. Unbeliever. Punishment. Blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. Wow, that's actually a pretty well-defended transport. Anyway, kill it. Come on, ship. Don't fail me now. Job, and let's see if we can take out... Oh, this is a transport with a couple troops on it. Uh, it's even better to take that out. I love the... I love it, I love it. Good, good. Right, Excellent. So I, I probably should get a few more ships. Oh, I have... <laughs> I've done it again. I forgot to research it. Um, if you're wondering, I keep moving my mouse to the side. I have dual monitors, and some of these old games don't uh, work if it's enabled, so I, I have to <laughs> completely change my uh, setup if I want to have auto scroll for these sorts of games. My bad guys. Uh, command centers are anywhere like basically ready or these ships. I don't need these ships. Okay, you guys head on up. I don't need a ton of ships down here defending. So you guys are gonna head on up that way. Turn complete. Uh, you've got one ship to defend, one ship, one unit, one unit. Lots of units, not a whole lot of ships. Uh, a Gatling foil. Wow, that guy's pretty old. How much does it cost to upgrade these things? Just for interest's sake here. Cannot uh, execute order. Nope. You cannot upgrade a foil to a cruiser's, and I never built a better foil. So. Turn complete. Anyway, it's fine by me. Uh, I love the faction dominance. That's looking good. <laughs> oh, Spartans. We haven't talked to them in a while. Sure. Main screen, turn on. Hello. Reckless followers, blah, blah, blah. Um... Their might is potent, but we're better still. All right. If I give them basically all my money, most of my money, they'll give us peace for a couple turns, and then they'll backstab us again. So no, no, not interested. If you want to attack, bring it. I probably should have attacked that first. 
Oh, that was... Okay, well, it's a little bit unfortunate here. I'm going to lose a couple ships, but I think we'll be okay. Forests everywhere. Good. Look at all that. Maximum Forest. population reached. I love hearing maximum pop, too. That sounds good to me. Uh, Centauri Preserve. Keeping the environment happy. I'm trying, guys. So this place looks like it might be a good spot to build some more cruisers. Unless I need something. Nah, let's, let's go for some cruisers. Do I, should I design new ones or do I have okay guys right now? Um, shard destroyers. Feeling like I'm missing the normal 13 attack. I have chaos cruisers, but shouldn't I have shard cruisers or something that are quick like that? Okay, hold on. Let's uh, Production complete. Well, okay, well, we'll finish these building pop-ups first. Make sure I'm building everything I need. Then I'll relook. Do I need a pressure dome here? No. I know I probably say that every time. I should just build one anyway. <laughs> um, in fact, yeah, let's just build the pressure dome. Then I won't have to accidentally ask every God, single turn. From the Mount of Sinai, whose gray top shall tremble, he descending will himself in thunder, lightning, and loud trumpets sound, ordain them laws. John Milton, Paradise Lost, Data ah, Links. I thought that sounded familiar. You guys remember Paradise Lost? Um, anyway, uh, we built our first orbital defense pod. We'll build a few more. And that way, if someone tries to planet bust us, we'll have a chance. Okay, I guess you guys can guard there, that's fine. Oh boy, so where is that? The AI has moved all of our formers into this little zone. I guess it's like trying to clear all this fungus or something. Who knows how the AI sorts things out, but I really wish they'd build some upgrades like over there or something. I know I should take control of one and do that or something. But anyway, what I wanted to do was design a new unit. Because we have a, a, a SAM shard destroyer, right? Uh, that's specifically good against anti-aircraft, but it's a little bit expensive. I remember building that the other turn. Let's just build a normal cruiser with plasma shards, silk steel. Oh, you know what's dumb though? I'm going to have a new reactor in like probably one more turn, so maybe I should wait. Yeah, one more turn. Okay, I'll wait off for one more turn. So that means this base, uh, the mirror lab can uh, stockpile energy, that won't hurt, unless there's something smart to build. Well, no, I'll, be, I'll start a, a shard destroyer, why not? Nah, I don't know, whatever, let's just go with it. I'm hoping it sort of auto upgrades a little bit. Okay, so we're getting ready to take this base, or at least destroy it. There's probably nothing in it. Okay, another f former, go crazy. Yeah, and then the ships up here, I got a little bit, you know, Maybe I wasn't quite prepared. Can you not attack? I thought you had like six move. Weird. Um, this guy's injured, so I should probably move him back. Go back. Heal up. Can you attack that thing? Um, how many moves left does it have? Moves three, so I should be able to attack. There we go. Okay, problem there. Yeah, I definitely need some more, uh, some more ships. Turn complete. Where, what else have I got over here? I know I lost one, but uh, they're only chaos cruisers. They only have attack eight. Is that a? It's a fusion foil. So it's just not as good as my stuff. It's just they they were on the attack, so they had the advantage. All right, that's probably all it is. Mm, I think I did that incorrect actually. Turn complete. I should have had this guy attack that one, and then this guy attack uh, the. Uh, the uh, transport foil, because I don't think this guy will be able to reach that far. Turn complete. No. Well, I was very, very close, actually, but not quite good enough, unless I have another one somewhere hiding. Could attack it with this. How strong is a fusion? How strong is its transport? It's only got one defense. You know what? Uh, I think my damaged guy could probably take it. Yeah. All right, good. And then we'll sink a couple, uh, like, grand units. Okay. I say that was a good deal. Good. Uh, and this guy, what are you doing? You're just hanging out. Oh yeah, that's Turn right, because um, the Spartans control this now, so I was kind of expecting them to make a quick jump over, you know, buy some ships here, or I think this one's a naval base. They could have something. They're building a naval yard right now. All right, needle jets, yeah. yeah. I, 
still haven't done air units yet. I, I'm sorry. Forts, everywhere. Production complete. Paradise Gardens, nice. This is our capital base, our first base ever on this planet. It's still not our best, but, um, you know, with a size of 13, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. It's got basically everything done. Uh, so I suppose this will be one of my, uh, is it a naval base? Yeah, it'll be one of my uh, ship builders. So Production alone complete. I'm going to get that new tech in a minute. Ah, I got f there's a lot of there's a lot of drones here, and that is for sure. So um, that should help out. Yeah, four to one now. That should be totally enough. Um, is, have I missed like the? Uh, no, I was wondering if I missed the, um, you know, that thing, the uh, the the paradise. But no, we have paradise. Production complete. This place just got paradise, so I could probably yeah, turn you off. I know it doesn't matter. I I I, I like uh, I like micromanaging all my units. Like if I was playing on my own, I'd spend a lot more time like, you know, forcing these guys into being thinkers and this and that. But I figure for the recording, I kind of want to keep things moving. <laughs> it goes slow enough as it is. Uh, you can build your pressure dome for fun, and then uh, a skunk works for fun. Oops, whatever. Build them both. I think they actually do cost me a bit of upkeep. Well, maybe not the pressure dome. Um, skunk works. Cancel, change, skunk works help. Yeah, so I, I do pay one maintenance per turn for every skunk works I build, but whatever. I figure having a few of those won't hurt. As we've learned, they uh, they do um, they do let us build new uh, Maximum prototype units. Population for free. reached. Okay, we are going to upgrade everything. Uh, from now that I know what this this message. The last time I got this message, I didn't really understand it, but now I know we're going from reactor to reactor, and it actually is a good deal. So just do that to everything, and we're gonna sea formers. Yeah, just do it. I've got lots of money. Yes, modernize, upgrade everything. Yes, just just do it. We should be fine. I've still got enough money. Keep going. Keep going. 60 energy, keep it going. Upgrade the sentinels. Indeed, we definitely want sentinels to have lots of life. That makes perfect sense. Uh, shard shock. That's getting a little bit expensive. We're going to run out of money pretty quick. But uh, Shard rovers. Hopefully that's basically the end of them. Shard battery. 90. Wow, I'm almost broke, guys. 50 credit. I got, I got 90 left. Uh, sure, 10 left. That's do fine, but now I'm broke. So I'm not going to be upgrading my SAM destroyers right now. I mean, we can say yes, but... Heaven lasts as as long, can. and Earth abides. What is the secret of their durability? Is it because they do not live for themselves? That they endure so long? Lao Tzu, data links. Lao Tzu, I assume that's related to Sun Tzu? The art of war? But someone else? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me for quotes. Anyway, the main thing here, of course, is the quantum... Not the quantum lab. Well, that sounds good anyway. That sounds awesome. Bit more maintenance, costs some money, but we get economy bonus, which is good. Lab bonus, which is awesome. Cumulative with fusion. So now we're going to have quantum stuff going on. And yeah, of course, that's the main thing I was looking for. So good. And now... I suppose I will. They're both conquer six, so it doesn't really matter much. We'll just production go that one complete. Oof, hopefully, you guys didn't get any seizures from all that. <laughs> um, but I am going to immediately upgrade or design some cruisers with amazing weapons, amazing defenses, amazing chambers. Actually, yeah, let's make sure. So 50, 90, wow. 100. It is way cheaper to go with quantum. That's awesome. Definitely, that is useful. That is super, super useful. And I really like having these guys with uh, deep radar. It's free for C units. It just takes up an upgrade slot. And um, just for normal battling, maybe I should get them like triple A would let them defend against AA a little, or against air a little bit better. But I think I'll just go with the high morale because elite will give them some bonuses too. If I, if I recall correctly. So let's just go with that. 60 bucks, that's cheap. 60 bucks, I know, but 60 energy bucks. Whatever you call energy in the future. Um, so this is going to build cruisers. And I will want some SAM ones too. So I will probably queue up a couple of each. 
So we're going to have... Oh, look at this. They're actually cheaper. Because we went to Quantum, even the Sam style went from uh, four turns down to two turns. So um, it's actually the same to build. One will get the morale boost. One will get the anti-air. And I think these ones have the radar too. So it's good to have kind of both. I'll make like two train to every one Sam or something like that. That, that'll be my plan. Also, let's just blow the city up. Yeah, you'll be fine. Fusion artillery, no big deal. We'll have quantum artillery now. <laughs> and it's elite. I like elite. Good. So that's cleared that up. I suppose I might want to build some uh, colony pods to a uh, to uh, do something about. Because I assume the AI will continue to just sort of expand into my land, but. So I assume we can't Unit actually attack required ability. Can't actually attack it. I do have triple A sentinels defending. So if he tries to send a uh, a uh, jet in there, a needle jet, even though it has eight attack, this guy with his four defense, his triple A should double that. I think, like I was saying before, and the perimeter defense should perhaps double that again. So it's either going to be twelve or sixteen, depending on how the math goes. I uh, I don't know exactly. Um. Let's go check out sort of up here. Ooh, missiles! <laughs> well, I don't think missiles are going to protect you in this situation. Um, I'm not sure how you deal with missiles. Like, if you can uh, shoot them down with AAA. I know the Planet Buster, we've got our orbital pod things, but. Uh, can I get up there too? Maybe not. Let's keep one down there for now, trying to guard Turn the center. Complete. I like being able to see. Oh, look, another transport. Hello, my friend. Wow, lots of stuff going on here. Destroy it. Turn and complete. what is this? This is a super fusion sea former. Okay. Um, I guess there's no real harm letting it live, but we don't let things like that get away with it. Destroy it. <laughs> no superformers allowed. Can I build superformers, guys? Complete. What's a superformer anyway? Um, let's just say it was infantry, weapon, terraforming. What makes it super? <laughs> um, an ability, maybe? Superformer. Ah, doubling the speed. I never uh, upgraded my guys like that. Maybe if I have more money, I will use it to... Uh, Quick upgrade some of these or something. I don't know. Um, well, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's let's see. Where's my former? If I can find it here. Quantum C formers. Fungicidal quantum former. Sure. Um, can I give it super? Makes it a little bit more expensive, but it goes even faster. Maybe I don't need the the fungicidal then. Keeps it cheaper. It's just twice as fast anyway. Sure. We'll have super formers. Super quantum formers. It sounds pretty awesome. Actually, you know what I should have done? Now that I think about it. I know, uh, uh, Susavile, you've, you've, so, you've told me this long time ago. I, I should have built speeder formers, no armor, that are super and not that expensive. Yeah, see, because then they can get around and work. They can move to a new tile. They can start working. I could even give them a clean reactor if I really wanted. But uh, I decided with all my free support units, that's probably the way to go. Anyway, so we can make super quantum formers now if you want that move quick, stuff like that. Let's see, how much do they cost to build? Uh, instead of, well, it's exactly the same, isn't it? Super quantum formers. Is this the, is this the kind that can move? Looks like it's on a, I believe this is the the good one. So why would I build anything else? I guess delete, delete, build more super quantum formers, <laughs> and change the quantum C former. Oh no, you can build one more quantum C former. That's fine. Anyway, whatever. It's good enough. <laughs> Don't want to waste all day playing with formers and stuff. Oh, probably forgot to move a couple of my boats. Good job on the defense though. That that was a good one. Oh, a missile or something, I think. Probably that was. Deirdre, sure, let's talk. Blah, blah, blah. Hit rocks. Blah, blah, blah. Technology. Mm, do your worst. 
Uh, just, uh, nope, no, I don't want any peace. No peace. Production complete. <laughs> blah, 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 trees. Blah, 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 fungus. That, that's Tearger, right? <laughs> uh, Centauri Preserve. Good, good. Keeping the planet happy. Oh, Quantum Labs! I gotta build Quantum Labs, everyone, guys. Everywhere, guys. Can't forget Quantum. Production complete. Quantum power it is. Give me Quantum power. Drone riots have ended. Good. Don't like drone riots. Okay, Quantum C former auto and shard squad. Oh yeah, I just moved you back. I think you can guard up. Actually, wait a second. Did I see this? How long has this fungicidal former been sitting here? Go automate yourself. And you can. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything you really need to do? Hang out. All right. So we've got our first Sam shard cruiser. I think that's Deirdre's unit. Oh yeah, we should actually deal with that, shouldn't we? Yeah, that's pretty good odds. Go for it. Those things do a lot of damage. Wow. Um, where are we? Oh, those were the guys taking out the transports. That's fine. Guard. And this one, this is the missiles. I think that's what hit uh, one of my uh, bases up here. I think it was virgin soil. It might have been Deirdre's missiles or something. Either that or one from up here. Anyway, I don't think a missile... Can, can a missile defend? Did it just activate somebody? Apparently a missile can defend. How does a believing conventional missile stop a destroyer from taking the base? Well, the answer is it doesn't. <laughs> so I got another base. whoop de woo I don't really care. <laughs> Turn complete. And uh, can I take... Oops, no, no, no. Back to full screen. Can I take that one too? Oh, it's got a defender. Let's attack. Turn complete. No? Fine then, don't attack. See if I care. See if I care, game. Um, okay. Oh, am I uh, still researching, or researching, am I still building energy somewhere? Centauri Preserve, Mirror Lab, I switched over. Stockpile energy, I did forget one. So maybe I'll switch it to a, uh, a quantum lab first, and then I'll pump out a few extra of these uh, Ooh, one turn for train shard cruisers. That's very tempting. So we'll pump out a few of those. That should cover the, the waves for a while. Okay. Keep going, forests. Oh, yeah. Not paying enough attention. Stuff like this keeps happening. Come on, fight! Ah, that's too bad. Maximum population reached. Maximum population reached. Uh, you guys are pretty happy, I guess. Two, two drones. It's not too bad. Quantum it up. Production complete. Pressure dome. All right, now now you can quantum it up. Quantum power. Production complete. Command center. I think I was just building like random stuff all over the place. Oh, this one I never built a uh, a paradise garden here. So where are we? Quantum lab. Do we need the no? Oh, there's actually not enough tiles to work. That's right. So we're always gonna have a couple empaths unless I force them to be like thinkers or something. Can I uh, please put a thinker? There we go. Thinker. So I didn't even need them as far as uh, talents go. They were just, there's nowhere to work. So that's what was happening. Thinkers give us research, so seems fair. Quantum Lab, Paradise, why not? Centauri, why not? Good. Everybody's moving. Okay, uh, what would you like, Miriam? I'll talk to you this once. Uh, I'm the most brilliant of us all, and our followers the most talented. Well, thank you for the compliment. That's very nice of you. <laughs> this is time to reconsider your earlier arrogance. Uh, I have to give her <laughs> organic, organic super lube to the obstinate believers. No, do your worst. You are wretched. Yeah, yeah. I know you don't like me much, but uh... honestly, does anyone care right now about Miriam? Post in the comments if you care if I do it. Because uh, at this point, I'm not too happy with him. Train shard guy, let's head up this way. You can rest up after Turn that hard complete. fight with the mind boil. Um, can I sneak that? I've got one there. Uh, it's a bit of a risk leaving this place undefended, but I want to you know, take that right now. And if they do take it back, I will just destroy it basically so that would be fine by complete. me uh, and then I can start sending some ships over that way because if those bases are trying to drop missiles on us we will have to deal with that 
And I do see that former there. I, I'm sure you guys have been yelling at me. Blue, go destroy that Deirdre's former. There you go. No problem. Consider it destroyed. Anything else going on? Looks like we're building some roads or something. There's that guy. Oh, right. He did... Uh, how did that guy do? He only has five attack, and he still managed to beat my guy. I actually really should... Uh, I'll be happy to have this armor upgrade, because some of my units... It doesn't seem like they're doing that great on the defense, so... That'll be nice. Got a gun foil here that has one, one, one. Wow. I was thinking about hurrying Request something confirmation. Like I would like this place to produce a little bit quicker, so I think that might help. Super Quantum Formers. How is the support doing here? Still fine. Maybe once those are done, I'll switch to uh, something like uh, Quantum Labs and maybe a few extra units. Maybe build some ships down here at uh, whatever, however you say that name. <laughs> uh, no, we don't want to talk to you anymore. We tried. Wretched unbeliever, cry out to sins to God, blah blah blah. The attack. The attacker definitely seems to have the advantage at this phase of the game. Just because you can get like 13 attack and only 4 defense right now. Maybe that's just how the whole game goes. Which is fine. Uh, the flowers preach gets minus 1 nutrient for 10 years. Boo. Reduction complete. Aerospace complex means better results from. Uh, from our uh, our satellites. Well, this place could build lots of stuff. I think the assembly plant will speed things up the most, and then we'll go quantum, paradise, hybrids in there at some point. Whatever. Throw throw everything in there. This this place. This is one of our recent acquires. It's actually got more production than I was expecting. That production was complete. All right. And this guy. Now that we've got the robo plant, actually 45 minerals for a sea base is pretty good. I mean, you can see how awesome the uh, the satellite mining is happening because we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen from the base plus uh, whatever multiplier we have there, which means there must be some more coming from somewhere. You know, it's just gotta be. Uh, so I think this guy should build me some more ships. Yeah, you're gonna build me some charge cruisers and maybe uh, a few of these. Two, three, four, five should be good for a while. Time dilation as the speed of light approaches. To the extent that light consists of particles, it is in its own way timeless. Through simple perturbations of the temporal manifold, we can refract or repel photons most efficiently. Academician Prokhor Zaharov, now we are alone. Yep, yeah, that sounds correct to me. I know a little bit about physics. <laughs> um, okay, what do we want? Tachyon fields? That sounds pretty cool. It sounds like we're getting into Star Trek now. <laughs> Star Trek territory. Um, probability sheath is maybe higher defense, like a, a level 6 armor rather than 5 maybe. Uh, and then tachyons is another building, I think. It's same as the perimeter defense. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Production complete. Maximum population reached. Good for you. Um, I guess this place is pretty much done too now. Quantum lab. Nope. It's always quantum lab. Production labs. complete. Heal up. Well, that was a quick turn. You can head up there. Okay, so they were bombing us. I think they killed that unit in one shot with its missile, didn't they? It's not very nice. Oh well. Auto former. Turn complete. Okay. So um, what should I do, guys? I think it's almost time to end the video. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed by just how many bases I have right now. The good news is I'm researching very quickly, and if you haven't guessed yet, I am going for the science tech type victory. There's that guy up there. I definitely need lots of boats. That's for sure. I don't want to get overwhelmed by not uh, continuing to produce military units. So um, that's that's high on my priority list too. Yeah, let's do one more turn. Got lots of. I love looking at this quantum labs everywhere. That looks awesome. <laughs> and needle jet. Yeah, those things. So I just lost two boats there. That's, those bases are pretty much ready to fall or have fallen already. 
Oh well, oh well. Maximum population reached. Oh, Mendeleev College, one of my good places. You didn't last until you got your uh, paradise. Can I uh, just request speed confirmation? This? Let's just speed that along. Production Make complete. Make the people happy. Deirdre sucks. <laughs> I remember naming that place. It's actually not a bad area. It's just got. I don't know why I can't work that tile. Is it shared by a neighbor? Really? Okay, what does it say? No, that's not helping. Huh. Something weird. Um, so what I was gonna do is check the buildings, and yeah, it needs quantum. Quantum time? Production complete. And you can guard your base, and you can continue to be automated. And you definitely need more units, naval units up here, so head on up. Turn complete. Yeah, look at this. Turns are actually going pretty quick at this point now that, uh... Maybe I've caught up with all my microing. Um, but yeah, I think that this is a good place to end the episode. I want to fix my little camera scrolling bit anyway, because it'll be easier to play if I can just scroll the screen a little bit. Um, I should seriously consider um, building a few colony pods, just to clear. I know I keep talking about that. Okay, let's do that right now. Let's queue them up somewhere. Uh, are you guys you going to be ready, basically? Orbital defense pods, anything else important here to build? Oh, quantum. I want somewhere... Oh, sh I didn't want you to change. Ah, I meant to queue that instead of change it. Um, quantum labs. What are you guys doing? Oh. Well, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do the quantum lab and then I'll queue up some uh, colony pods. Two, three, four. And I'll do the same from uh, Ega, whatever the heck on. We'll build his qu his quantum lab, and then I'll queue up some quality pods. That way, hopefully, I won't forget, and that will give us enough to put a few down, and maybe block the AI from just you know sprawling all over inside the edge of our territories and stuff. Because that's not cool. We don't want that. All right. So anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. We're certainly getting towards the end of the game. Um, with quantum power, we're getting very close to the end of uh, the discovery chain, as far as I know. So um, yeah, things are looking up, and. Uh, Hopefully we'll learn more of the secrets of the planet in next episode. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed and have a great day.